Is it possible to get really strong without gaining a ton of muscle mass? That's what John wants to know. He emailed me, hi Marshall, I'm looking for ways to gain good strength, muscle power, and density, but I don't want to increase my overall body weight. I just want to be lean, mean, and powerful. Any advice on how to achieve this? Yes, John, absolutely. You know, not everybody who lifts weights wants to be massive. Not everybody wants to find out how much muscle they can build. And in fact, for some people, in particular uh, sports and professions, you don't want to get too big. Um, any sport with a weight class, combat athletes, um, first responders, military, law enforcement, yes, you want to be strong, you want to be powerful, but the, every extra pound of body weight you carry is a liability. It's important to understand that a major component of being strong is not muscular at all. It is neurological. It's the ability of your brain to coordinate the contraction of your muscles and to send really powerful signals to your muscles to tell them to contract really hard. Now you can train this ability and build a lot of neurological strength without necessarily beefing up muscularly. It's important to understand that the main driver of muscle growth is volume. That's how many sets, how many reps you do, and how much total poundage you move over the course of a single workout or an entire workout program. So you want to keep your volume as low as possible, but you still need to lift really heavy weight in order to uh, create a strength adaptation and to teach your body neurologically how to move a lot of weight. So the best approach would be to take a relatively high percentage of your one rep max, maybe 90%, and keep your reps really, really low. So a good example might be 90% of your one rep max for five sets of one. That's it. Five total repetitions in the entire workout. That's extremely low volume, but because you're working with such a high percentage of your max, it's going to train your body neurologically to produce that force on demand. Another example might be taking 80% of your one rep max and doing six sets of two with plenty of rest in between. So that's only 12 repetitions in the entire workout. Now imagine if you did like five sets of 10, that's 50 repetitions. You know, even though you're moving a lot of weight, you're actually doing fewer repetitions and you're putting um, less cumulative mechanical stress on your muscles, which is not going to trigger them to grow as much as if you were doing a ton of sets and reps. I hope that answers your question, John. I hope that was helpful for uh, everyone else who watched this video. If you have any follow-up questions or other strength and fitness related questions, uh, drop me a comment or email me at marshall at risegym.com. And make sure you go to kbformula.com for a ton of really innovative total body kettlebell workouts, 100% for free. See you guys next time.